Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonurai from Glad Studio. And in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you about interior design in Revit. And today in this uh, class, we learn how to model a modern bed in Revit using simple method. So I am going to show you how to you can uh, model this bed. So you can model this. Uh, mattress and bed uh seats here blankets and including furnitures so we are going to revit here and now i'm going to uh, components here and i'm going to model in place and you will search here furniture and i'm going to this furniture here and now i'm going to rename this as a modern bed modern bed click ok and i'm going to extrusion here and i will pick this line here and now i'm going to uh, take the bed uh, length here so i'm going to make this as a seven feet you can also take six feet six inches and width i'm going to take this as a six feet here and now we'll finish this so this is extrusion here and uh now the extrusion start uh, at zero feet zero inches because i want to raise this bed from floor so i will take zero feet zero inches and if you don't want to uh, make uh, from floor you can give some offset so this bed will uh, be offset and you can put some stand so I'm taking this from floor. So I will keep this as zero feet, zero inches. And I'm going to make this as one feet, six inches and material by category. I'm going to click on this three dot. I'm going to create a new material and I will rename this as a bed. And now I'm going to my this uh, create a new material for bed and in appearance uh, you can click this uh, open and closes asset browser and now i'm going to search for laminates you can put some laminates here see is there so i'm going to select plastic and you can take any color so i'm going to take this as a white and click ok and finish this and now in 3d you can see this bed here this is one feet six inches i'm going to realistic mode here so this is a bed uh, height and now uh, you can see in this image here this is the design which we are seeing here so you can uh, make this easily so i'm going to create another extrusion here and we'll go to set pick a plane i'm going to pick this plane and we'll go to front elevation of this and for timing i'm going to hidden line and now we'll design this i'm going to take this from here till this line and now i'm going to give this offset uh suppose i'm going to give this as one one inch or you can take this as a two inch so i'm going to give this as a two inch and now we'll offset this and can trim this line here trim this and you can use this line and you can connect from here till here and you can start at zero feet zero inches so i'm going to give this as a one inch or uh, depth so you can take the material same like a bed you can apply print this and now you can see this is uh, our uh, design of extrusion like this and uh, now this is time to make a bed head from the behind 
and for bed head uh, we'll see how we are going to do this so i am going to rotate this and for bed head again we'll go to this side and can create another extrusion and can set this pick a plane i'm going to pick this Suppose I'm going to pick this only and uh, I'm going to make a bed head from this side. We'll take this till 4 feet or as per image. So I think 4 feet is enough. And now if you'll see here, this is taking this side. So no problem. So this is going from this side so we need on this side so i'm going to select this and you can select this one pick new and i'm going to place this here and now we can adjust this so so i want from bed head from this end so we can use this pick new button and can move this can raise this height here can check this my measuring tool here so this is four feet four inches you can make this as four feet or you can leave as a four feet four inches so as per your design so i'm going to leave this and now you can see this material is bed and because the, here all the material are same so this is our bed head and you can uh make a, a profile here so this is on the top so you can again go to create a extrusion and you can select this pick a plane i'm going to pick this uh, top portion here and now you can make extrusion here and you can give this a offset here so this is one inch and you can move this bit here bit outside so this is and you can also adjust this so this is on top and you can see you can depth can in and decrease here and can give some thickness like image so this is our and also i want to bring this till two inch or as per design so now we can see this is almost matching our image so now there is some uh recessed uh, here so you need to use void by extrusion to make like this so i am going to again create void forms void by extrusion and i'm going to set pick a plane and i'm going to pick this plane and now i'm going to create extrusion and now we'll create some extrusion here so I'm going to take this as two feet and now the extrusion I'm going to make this as a one inch offset here and now again I'm going to copy this here and in between we can make another extrusion so we can take exact measurement so i'm making roughly to make you understand and now this is our void by extrusion and i'm going to use cut geometry here so i'm going to select this and now we'll 
use cut geometry tool so i'm going to make this as a two inch and now you can see this is our word extrusion and you can see in realistic mode so this is uh, you can see this extrusion is created and you can see a quick render here to uh, check this so i'm going to render this later on so you can see this is created and now i am going to again my hidden line and you can also check in textures can use shaded portion so better how you can visualize here so this is realistic so i'm going to hidden line again and now this time to create mattress so again as per image we'll create like this a mattress here so i am going to architecture component model in place or you can simply select this and edit in place and can create extrusion and can pick a plane here so i'm going to pick this plane and now i'm going to make some mattress here so we'll take five inch thickness here for mattress and you can make some design like this and now you can use a straight line you can make again use this curve line and you can make a mattress like this use this straight line and you can finish this here and again you can use uh, this fillet arc and can some use some realistic uh, fillet here so you can use this fillet again to make a smooth corners here I'm going to use this fillet arc something uh, and you can finish this so now you can see this is our mattress and I'm going to material apply some material and you can uh, make this as uh, six feet here mattress depth and later on we'll just test i'm going to put this value as minus two inch and on material i'm going to create a new material we'll rename this as a mattress and now can go to image here you can select on this fabric apply okay need this and now we'll see in realistic mode so this is coming here so no problem i'm going to edit in place let's select this mattress you can drag this till here and bring this till here take this till so now we can see this is our mattress here and you can see this mattress is created so likewise you can create a uh, this bed sheet here blanket you can uh, create by extrusion here and now this is time to create side table so for side tables we will use the same uh, technique here so i am going to label one here and i am going to create extrusion and i'm going to create side table here 
so this is one foot four inch by one foot here and we'll take this side table as one foot six inches and material will apply the bed material here this bed material and now we'll see here and in 3d this is coming like this so now oh, i'm going to create void by extrusion here void forms void extrusion i'm going to pick a plane and now i'm going to create a void by extrusion here and now i'm going to create one fit and minus one fit by can see this is created here so like this and can decrease this You can go to wireframe and you can bring this inside here and now you can see in realistic mode this is created so now you can see this side table is created so i am going to level one here and we'll copy this to other side and bring this here go to your 3d view and can finish this so likewise can make a blanket also and can see in realistic view this is our bed model here so I can go to any level one and can go to 3d view camera and you can this this and you can go to realistic view and you can go to render here and you can go to medium and you can render and see how it comes so you can see this is the method how to model a modern bed in repeat so thanks for watching bye bye